नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यू बीट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस वी आर सॉल्विंग द वेबसाइट पेपर फिजिक्स सेक्शन फ्रॉम आई एस आर एफ टी टेस्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग एम सी क्यू नंबर ट्वेल्व विच इज बेस्ड ऑन जोमेट्रिक और रिओप्टिक्स स्पेसिफिकली इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन द प्रॉब्लम इज अ थिन लेंस मेड ऑफ मटेरियल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स एन एल forms the image at the position i of a point object held at o on the central axis of the lens as is shown in the ray diagram below this is our object one ray of light is shown gets uh, refracted twice comes to a consider that the refractive index of the medium is nm and nl is greater than nm for the figure given where does the image form when nl is less than nm where these are the refractive indices now observe carefully usually in a typical lens problem what we have is the lens is assumed to be kept in either air or in vacuum okay so the refractive index of the material of the lens is greater than that of the air right so that is the usual case which they have shown okay that is why the ray is bending inwards uh but now they are saying where does the image form when nl is less than nm so for the case that we want the refractive index of the lens material is less than that of the medium okay so now our ray of light originating from o it will continue to travel in a straight line and it will undergo two refractions one at this face this surface of the lens and the other at the other at the surface of the lens okay but in which direction will it come out or will it emerge it will emerge in a direction which is opposite to the one that it has emerged in the first case right snail's law is at work now which means if you now draw a ray of light which has refracted we have to trace it backwards okay to trace it backwards so this is the direction if you trace it backwards it will be found to meet the central axis of the lens somewhere in between the object o and the lens okay so the image found will be a virtual image and therefore the correct option to question number 12 is option a at point b okay the logic is very simple uh well for a lens with given refractive indices combination typical or usual case it is going to bend inwards for the other case unusual case it is going to bend outwards it is my it is going to behave as if it were a diverging lens or a concave lens okay so question 12 option 